Welcome to the Next Adventure, your favorite retailer in Portland, Oregon, and also online. We're here today at our Paddle Sports Center to inform, outfit, and excite you on what gear you're going to need to get out on the water and stay safe, have fun, and have some sweet adventures. Let's get this adventure started. First things first, we got to stay safe. And we're going to do that by getting on our PFD or Life Vest. PFD stands for Personal Flotation Device. Or as we like to say in the industry, prevents flipping drowning. First thing you want to do when thinking about what PFD you want to take today is where you want to go and what you want to do. A man here like Mr. Patrick, as you can see, is a class 5 crusher going to go shred some gnar including in our store and to stay safe and for what he wants to do he's going to have what we call a type 5 pfd some features being a rescue harness that has been reinforced reinforced shoulder straps so that you know mr coast guard or mr lifelike can lift patrick out of the water some quick release action so that we can go and he has that helmet accompanying him. Other things to be thinking about when you're thinking about where you want to go, what you want to do, is how much you want to carry with you today. So let's start off with, in the where you want to go, what you want to do, something clean, easy, simple. What I like to look for when I'm choosing a PFD is a couple of key safety features. While all PFDs, if they've been rated by the US Coast Guard, are going to be safe, I'm a big fan of having what I call redundancy. Some sort of buckle, and a zip or multiple zips and buckles. A good sign of a PFD is gonna be how many straps are gonna be on there to adjust it closer and tighter to your body and what kind of pocket features you got. So this one's nice and simple, has a little spot for you to lash a knife or potentially a little phone. Got a little pocket over here. Great for just a simple day, getting out on the water, enjoying yourself in the sun. Say though you wanna be you know, a sea kayaker or a touring kayaker or even just camping, or being an awesome fisherman, and you want a little bit more pocket space, something like this guy here is gonna be a lot more feature rich and give you a lot more versatility. First off, something like this might have multiple adjustable pockets with two to three little individual pieces, lots of little lash tabs for you to be able to attach knives, whistles, anything, glow sticks, whatever you wanna be carrying with you and even then, but still have good, easy access to your safety features and a nice, comfortable fit on the side. Cool ones also, kind of some of these higher end ones, will also have things like a space for you to put a little hydration bladder right into the PFD. Because I will say, guys, it's really easy to get dehydrated while you're out on the water. You're surrounded by it, but you just don't drink it. So good examples of kind of more feature rich ones to meet your needs of where you're wanting to go and what you're wanting to do. But let's talk now about how to adjust a PFD. Cool, now it's time to show you guys how to fit a PFD. We're gonna show you how we fit PFDs and where we like the PFDs to sit. If you ever have any questions and when you are fitting your PFD, please consult a paddle sport professional on proper fit and whether or not sizes are right for you. Don't try to think about one particular size in your brain, find what feels good. So we're gonna do a front zip style PFD. So first off, put it on like a vest. Next, you're gonna buckle the buckles. This particular one has two separate buckles, another great redundancy, and zip it on up. Now Patrick, locate your belly button for me. Ideally, that's where you're gonna to wanna to have this bottom strap situated. So, if you act like you're in going through TSA, but a lot friendlier, we're gonna go ahead and anchor these bottom straps first. What this does is really cements it in place and gets the PFD properly placed. Next, arms down, we are going to do the shoulder. Now, what we're really looking for is that all the slack is gone and just a little bit further. 
We don't need to choke ourselves out, but we want to make sure that we're getting a nice snug fit. And then finally, we do all the rest of the straps. So arms up again. This one has two side straps. And we're looking for, yeah, all the slack gone and a little bit further so that when we need to pick Patrick out of the water, he'll stay nice and safe right there. But a well-fitting PFD, even when you're in the water, should stay pretty well anchored to where you put it onto your body. And it feel like a nice little hug. Nice little hug, not a death grip. So if you want to be fashionable, feel less constricted, an inflatable is a great option for you to have. You can wear them down by your waist so you can have good range of motion with your arms. If you find yourself being a beater, pull this tube and it'll inflate. After inflation, you can put it around your neck, cinch it up. Now we're safe to go. I can float away, continue being a beater. So we've now talked about PFDs, informing, outfitting, and exciting you guys. Remember, it's a combination of where you want to go, what you want to do, and making sure the PFD fits right. I'm Michael. I'm Patrick. And we'll see, see you on the water. water.